everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I thought I would share with you my collection of custom diamond painting pens. Uh, there are a lot of diamond painting pen manufacturers, pen turners. You might not know where to start and I don't know if this is necessarily a guide but I have been requested to make a video just to showcase what I have and who I got them from. And I thought, what a great idea. You could probably find someone that you haven't found before. And if you like a style and you want to, you know, contact that store, I'll just have a link down in the description box so that you can go check them out for yourself. I in no way, no shape, I do not presume to, uh, use this video as a way to uh, brag or um, show off or anything. A lot of these pens were sent to me thanks to the generosity of the company or the pen turner. And so I just want to say thank you to everyone who has reached out to, to share one of these pens with me. I am blessed. And I hope you'll stick around to the end because I have something special for you too. So with that being said, let's reach into the basket. <laughs> And I'm going to share with you some diamond painting pens that I have collected over the years. Now, the first ever store that I believe I purchased a resin pen from was from the UK. And it's a store called Rich Crafts. This is my first ever diamond painting pen that wasn't a pink pen that was in the kit. And there's nothing wrong with the pink pens, blue pens, clear pens. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just that they are very skinny and, you know, you can get tired using them. This changed everything. This gave me marathon diamond painting sessions. And I loved it so much that I've purchased a few pens from him, including this uh, blue kind of water color looking smoke on the water kind of pen. And also he made some photo pens where the pen itself is wrapped with an image and this one has like a I don't know a lady in blue and it's really nice it's shorter than the others and this is a good time for me to give you a little word of warning please do not put your pens in the sunlight like I did uh, I had a pen holder that I put in front of my desk which was at the time in front of my window so I placed my pens on the sill they must have been there for a year before I realized that uh, the sunlight was discoloring all of my my pens so please just word of warning don't put your acrylic pens or plastic pens in the windowsill not a good look so these are all from rich craft uh, he can be found on Facebook and I will have a link down below. I do not know if he is currently turning. Uh, you'll have to go and check for yourself if you're interested, but he is based in the United Kingdom. Next up, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite pens of all time. This is my Lason Lathe Works pen. This is a hybrid blank, meaning that it has alumnite and wood burl. Wood burl are pieces of wood that are dropped into resin, basically, or resin is poured around them either way, and um, it creates this beautiful effect. This is by far one of my favorite pens to use. That's why I have everlasting tips on both ends, a three-placer and single-placer. I'll have a link to everlasting tips down below as well because I do use them pretty much exclusively when I'm talking about stainless steel tips. They were the first company uh, to, to come up with that idea. So um, this is my go-to pen, honestly, um, and I'll never get sick of it. It's beautiful. Next up, I'm, a, I'm not going in order really of when I purchased the pen or when it was given to me. I'm just now going to start going from the order that they're in the basket. <laughs> Next, I have this beautiful pine cone pen. This beautiful pen comes to us from Custom Diamond Painting Pens by TJ. He's on Facebook as well. You'll notice that a lot of these stores are on Facebook. That's because Facebook gives marketplaces um, and good, good platforms for small businesses. 
uh, with good outreach and forum capabilities. So um, you will have to make a Facebook account to join them if you're not already on Facebook. But this is by TJ and this is a gorgeous pen. I actually got two pens from him. Uh, one was a giveaway pen and I gave that away in uh, the group Crafters Anonymous with Mrs. Crochet and Coffee and Rachel Ray many, many moons ago. Please join us over there if you are interested in sharing all your crafty goodness. But this pen I decided to keep for myself because it's so beautiful and I just love the patterning in it. Fantastic. Lovely colors. It's very lightweight as well. And it's beautiful. Next up, I have a pen. This this is actually a loom band uh, cover on a pink pen. And my friend Becky from Becky's Band is for crafting her daughter Tiny Pufferfish makes these on Etsy. So you can actually uh, contact her, message her, and she can make a custom design for you. This is just like a cool swirly pen from her. These make it easier to grip. They're a soft grip which makes it much easier to hold for long periods of time. So if you want a uh, slightly less expensive option for a thicker pen, this pen is perfect. Really good way to go, especially when you're having hand cramping. Um, what do they call that? Uh, where your, your finger or right here cramps up really bad. Um, it, it helps with that because it's very easy to grip and it won't slide around or anything like that. Next up, um, I just recently showed these on the channel. These are from Mad Wood Turning SI on Etsy, and these are 100% wood. These are beautiful and super lightweight, like they are feather light. So if you don't like to have a very thick, bulky, you know, heavy pen, then definitely check out this store. Um, you'll notice that a lot of them don't have... Um, tips on them, but that's just because I haven't used them or I've transferred those tips into another one. I love this one because I like the, the shape of it here uh, and it doesn't bother me that it's not double-ended because I use the four placer a lot, especially on my diamond art clubs because they have a lot of multiples of four or there, thereof. So this is a nice pen shop to go to, especially if you live in Europe. Um, they are a European shop. Next, I have two custom pens by James Clevenger, who is Black Wolf Woodworks on, on Etsy and Facebook. He's a part of our crafters group on, on Facebook as well, and he's a, a resident turner. You can watch him turn diamond painting pens live in the group. Now he's based in on the Pacific coast of the U.S. Um, so if you're U.S. based, you might want to check him out. These were a custom order. At first, I asked him if he could put moss into uh, a pen for me, and this was the first iteration. Um, I believe I shared I shared this not too too long ago. I think it was last year, and um, he wasn't happy with it, so he wanted to make another one. I really like this pen. I think it's kind of cool. It looks uh, really mystical. I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of cloudy in there with the, with the, let me see if I can, I can't really get you to see it too well, but it's very gold and pretty and kind of milky looking. I like it a lot. He wasn't too happy, so he wanted to try another one. He asked me, you know, what's your favorite color? And I said it was royal purple. So he made me this one, and this one is absolutely gorgeous. He's the kind of turner where he decides the shape that best fits that pen's details. So he will turn it and make it look at the best that it can. Uh, for for what's happening inside the blank and I appreciate that I like his artistry all right sorry about that so next up I have this mini diamond penny pen this is my only mini that I remember um, this one was a gift from butterfly effect wares and this one I call my Caribbean pen it is gorgeous it's got these beautiful earthy colors with that kind of jade sea look. 
I love this pen so pretty. I bent the tip myself, but you can actually purchase bent tips as well um, online from various places. But I did enjoy using this pen. It is a little bit smaller than what I'm used to, but it's certainly a good option if you enjoy something small. Uh, so thank you so much, John and Abby, for that. And then I have three pens from another UK seller. This is from Painting with diamonds.co.uk. I believe this one is also from them. If I am mistaken, then I am so, so sorry. You can feel free to correct me below. But I believe that this came with one of the boxes. I believe that it was a uh, either Halloween. Oh, it's hard for me to remember, but this it's a beautiful purple pen, and I did really enjoy using this. This is the pen that I used while I was over in the United States. So this will always be a special pen for me. I'm going to remember using this always. And these two pens, I know for certain, this one came in the Drills and Chills box. This is one of those uh, ribbon pens that I have loved love, love, love looking at online. And this one is a single-ended pen and it is so comfortable. And I don't know what it is about it. It almost feels like um, a quill or something, maybe because it's tapered and, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's just, it the, the balance feels right in my hands. I adore this pen. So I know that you can go onto her website, paintingwithdiamonds.co.uk not paint with diamonds. There is a big difference. I'll have a direct link to the shop down below if you're interested, because I know some of you are looking for UK or European shops as well. Let's see, next up I have some gift pens. These were from some of my very good friends. This is from Tracy and this is from Tia. I believe that both of these are from the store Lace and Lathe Works, where one of my, you know, that I showed you before that this one is from. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty sure if I'm wrong, Tia and Tracy, please feel free to collect correct me down below. Um, I love this pen because it's got carry colors. Yellow and green are the carry Ireland colors and that's where I live. And this one is purple with gold and it's so beautiful. It reminds me of like the never ending story. It's just gorgeous. I love that pen. Thank you so much, ladies. Speaking of gifts, actually, um, well, gifts and collaboration. Um, I actually got these pens from the very talented Crashly over at Crafts with Crashly. She has her own channel and she does a lot of really cool polymer clay work as well as all kinds of things over on her channel. You should definitely check her out. Um, but I asked her if she, or, or way ages ago, if she would make me some pens as giveaway prizes. And she made these for me. Aren't they beautiful? They, she's so talented. And you know what? She's even better now. So if you can believe it, um, I'll link her down below as well. Just as a side note, I don't know if she's actually selling pens or making pens, but that's who they are from. Then I have these two pens from Mrs. Crochet and Coffee. Yes, the one and only Mrs. Crochet and Coffee. Um, a long, long time ago, she did, uh, she made her own pens and they are fantastic. I love the Mermaid Tales. Um, she stopped, obviously, because she's doing bigger and better things every day. And um, I still have them, and I love them, and I'll treasure them forever. Gorgeous. Uh, this pen was such a big surprise. I got this one sent to me from Hand Turn Heaven. Hand Turned Heaven is another, you know, beautiful turner. And I love the finish on his pens. Look how shiny it is. Isn't it beautiful? Just amazing. Love it. I don't know if it's lacquer or what. It doesn't matter to me. It is absolutely phenomenal and I love it. I am using the new Everlasting Tip that's kind of cone shaped. And I'm using Alexi Lily Crafts Curved Multiplacer here at the top, which I've had really good 
really good um, luck with these. Um, they make multi-placing really fun and uh, and easy. So if you're having trouble with them, I'll link I'll link her down below as well. But I think my favorite part about this pen, and I don't know if I'll be able to get it to show, is that there's this almost like a, um, like a geode spot here where it's pure clear glitter, like silvery glitter, and um, I absolutely adore it. There are other pockets of it in there as well. But this pen, this pen is beautiful. Then I have a beautiful custom pen by uh, Donna Bass. Her, her Facebook page is Custom Diamond Painting Pens and More by Donna Bass. Um, she is amazing. Um, just be aware that I don't think that she's taking any more custom orders until after July because she is um, going on vacation and she is very much appreciated <laughs> in that group. People are enabled. You have no idea. Um, I found her through my friend Anna and um, I'm glad I did. Uh, th this pen has Swarovski crystals and rings. These are halo rings, I believe they're called. They're just for decoration, but they're literally carved out of the blank at the same time that the pen is. I mean, it's like a magic trick, you know, and I love that. I know there are a few turners that do that, but this pen is so beautiful. It, again, it's kind of like that smoky watercolor look with my favorite colors, um, purple, green, blue. It's just phenomenal. Um, this one kind of reminds me of the night sky and I just, I love it. So thank you so much, Donna. I love this pen. It's gorgeous. I have... Another gift, this one was made by my friend Cal Withington's husband, Grant. Uh, Grant does not have a shop. Uh, he just whittles wood. Yeah, the old-fashioned way. And um, this pen was sent to me, and I'm so honored to have it. So thank you, Cal. If you want to check out her channel, she's Cal's Crafts. And I don't think that they do any whittling on the channel at all, but... Um, she is a crafty person who does diamond painting and cross stitch. So you might enjoy her channel. And I'm sorry about Luna. Luna, baby, you want a pen? Okay, now that she has a little place to sit on the floor. Uh, next up, I have several, whoops, several acrylic pens by Diamond Art Club. These are well, they were all available to purchase on the website. I'm not sure if they're available now, but I will link them down below. Uh, we've got this pink one, this kind of lemon lime, this, I think it's called Nebula, and this raindrop. Aren't they beautiful? I love them. Now, I do know that these are very fragile, so as are all acrylic pens. You need to be very, very careful with acrylic pens because they will snap if they fall on the floor. Highly likely. So it's always a good practice to... Um, to either get a pen holder or put them somewhere where they won't roll off the table. Speaking of rolling off the table, actually, let me just put these to the side. Uh, I have two pens from the store Diamond Pen Pal. These are anti-roll pens. So if you have a problem with pens rolling off the table, these ones just won't. They are completely stable. They won't go anywhere. Um, this one is so thick and so heavy. I do like it, but it kind of feels like Thor's hammer. <laughs> um, but it is beautiful. I mean, look at the crystals inside and everything. Just phenomenal. Love that pen. And then we've got this one, which kind of reminds me of like the 90s. These colors together just remind me of all that and Nickelodeon and all things growing up. But you can see that one side is completely flat and that helps it from running off the table. So if you have a normal pen, it kind of, you know, does this thing. But if you set it down and it does roll, it'll stop. So it's a roll stop pen. Um, these are awesome, especially if you have a tilted table. So if you're looking for an anti-roll pen, definitely go check out Diamond Pen Pal. And then last, but definitely, oh no, 
I have one more and then it's the last. This is one of the first ever wood pens that I got. This is from Handmade Diamond Painting Pens. This is from Carol. And I, I remember the days when there weren't many pen turners for diamond painting. Now we have so many options and so many talented people out there. But Carol was on the bandwagon first. She's the one that created it, in my opinion. Um, I might be wrong about that. But this is a hybrid wood burl pen. And this was my very first uh, wooden diamond painting pen. I used this so much and I love it to death. But as you can see, it has discolored. So this is the original color, this beautiful blue. And then this side, you can see it's turned kind of like a greenish yellow, and that's sun damage. So again, don't put your pens in the sunlight. Okay, one more, and then we'll get to the, the, the end of this video. And thank you so much for sticking with me. If you have, put a little pen emoji in your comments. <laughs> so this one is from We've Got a Handle on This. They are a Canadian company. And this pen, I love the way this blank turned out. Isn't that something cool? I love this. This has a three placer and a two placer. And these are barrels. Um, I believe that these are stainless, stainless steel tips, but they're barrels instead of uh, the multi-placers. And I really do like the two placer. I find that um, it's very fun to work with the two placer because you know you can pick up one or two and it just doubles your speed if you're a single placer kind of person. So if you like to single place, but you wanna go faster, try one of these pens, I swear. It's not like the, um, it's not like this multi-placer tip where it's not very precise. This is super precise. So, um, highly recommend. I'm not sure if they're still trading right now or what their shipping is like, but I do know that they are totally worth it and these are super unique. Did I just say super unique? <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> okay, last, last of all is Enablers Outpost. I'm going to share these pens one at a time because they deserve the attention. This blank is a seashell blank. It has bits of seashell, I hope you can see. And the wood that they chose is perfect because it kind of looks like sand. And I adore it. I've always wanted a seashell pen. I know it's very difficult to turn seashell in resin because of how hard they are and the damage it can do to the tools of the turner but I absolutely adore it. This is a super thick pen. That's what they're known for. And I love thicker pens. They feel very comfortable. I feel like I could diamond paint for 12 hours at a time with one of these pens. Um, I also have a thin pen from them, which I got on a discount because it didn't turn out the way that they wanted it to. It has some some pockets, some air pockets and things, but this is fine with me. I don't mind at all. And um, it is super thin, but I like the bumps in it. The bumps make it very easy to hold. So, you know, it's, I don't know if you can tell, but it, it's very easy to hold um, and it's pretty. It's really pretty. I thought this would be a good summertime pen to use. Then we have uh, a pen that I saw, this is not their own blank, this is from a blank from another company that they have turned themselves, and it's this dragon scale pen. Y'all, look at it. It looks like a belly. Oh my gosh, I, lo I love this pen. Um, when I got it, I, like I didn't wanna put it down. <laughs> this is an amazing pen. I love the way that it feels because it's super thick and each side has these indents which make it very easy to to hold and it makes it you know just super comfortable. I've been using this pen a lot and also it has to be said the Rachel's Galaxy pen 
they named this pen after me. They asked me for permission and I was like, uh, yes, <laughs> this is a, an amazing pen. So this is a blank that they make themselves. It goes from purple to pink and it has this gold flake in it. It's a real gold flake. Um, and it also has iridescent like glitter in it. <sighs> I love this pen. This is the pen that I probably use the most. Um, just to be completely upfront about it, just because I love, I love the colors and I love the feel of it. Let's see the pens that I use the most, if I'm going to be completely honest, I'm just going to put them here so that you can see the pens that I reach for are these. These are the pens, I think is there another one that I use often? Yes, this one. Okay, these are the the ones that I reach for the most and I think you can tell why. They are all about the same thickness. Um, they are about the same weight as well. And I think the good thing about, you know, going through and finding all these different pens is that you find something that you are comfortable with. As a thank you for watching this video, for subscribing to my channel, and for just being generally awesome people, I would like to give away one of my pens. The way that this works is you must be 18 years old or over. You must fill in the Happy Mail form that is linked down below in the description of this video. If you've already filled in the form, you don't have to fill it in again. You must use the word that I ask you to use in your comment down below. And um, just note that YouTube is not affiliated with this uh, giveaway at all. The winner is going to be chosen on the 18th of May and will be announced during my whip and chat on the 19th of May. Uh, one of the pens that I'd like to give away is this pen right here. And all you need to do is use the word moss in your comment. Please use the word moss somewhere in your comment. You talk about how much you like moss or, you know, you'd like to see moss. Um, this, this is a unique, one-of-a-kind, will-never-be-made-again pen from James Clevenger of Black Wolf Woodworks. And also, I will be using the generator to pick seven winners, seven <laughs> winners, to get one of these handmade pens from a lovely subscriber. I will randomly be choosing seven winners and I will send them to you. Uh, and you just need to use the word spring as these are the last few weeks of spring ahead. Um, I would like to, to give you a little bit of sunshine and spring blossoms in your life. And I think that these pens would brighten anyone's mood. So I will choose seven winners that use the word spring in their comment down below. The comments will be turned off or will be um, temporarily deactivated while I'm drawing the winners. And after the 18th of May, 2021, this giveaway will no longer be active. Please do not use the word giveaway anywhere in your comment. Otherwise, YouTube will flag it and it will be removed. Um, but thank you so much for watching and making this whole experience of working on YouTube uh, a reality for me. I very much appreciate it. Thank you to everybody who watches and comes back time after time uh, to spend a little bit of their day with me. And I hope that I can bring you some joy and peace in your day every week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great week ahead and I'll see you soon in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.